The age-old question, Coeur d'Alene or Post Falls, where do I move? You get that question a lot. Sometimes people come up here and they know exactly where they want to go and that makes it easy. Sometimes they come up and we drive them around for days and they're still left with more questions than answers. So I'm going to lay it all out, give you all the facts, let you make the decision for yourself. Coeur and Post Falls, they border each other. You probably have already looked at a map and you understand that, but they are bordering each other. So downtown to downtown is about 15 minute drive, not far apart. They are very different cities. Coeur d'Alene, as you probably know, is very much a resort city. The downtown is growing. I uh, just saw plans that the Coeur d'Alene Resort is going to expand with another hotel tower that's 15 stories tall right across Sherman Avenue from the current resort area. Now, the resort does an amazing job. Like, they run that downtown. Uh, they, it's beautiful all year long. Summertime, you have the beautiful red flowers everywhere. In wintertime, they replace that, and there's Christmas lights everywhere. I mean, it is like, like they do it. So you got to respect that. They help make this town what it is. I don't like these tall towers. That's my personal opinion. Um, there are more and more coming and we're seeing a lot of these taller three, four story condominiums and um, apartment buildings coming in too. They look nice. The new architecture does look nice. I'll give them that. Uh, but as I said, the, the city is changing. Post Falls, the downtown looks quite different. They do have an, an older downtown along the uh, Spokane River. So there is some, obviously it's not the same water frontage that Coeur d'Alene has. Coeur d'Alene did a, a, a phenomenal job at the beginning many, many years ago of building the city around the lake. You're not getting that in Post Falls. There are plenty of waterfront homes in Post Falls on the Spokane River, which comes from Lake Coeur d'Alene. Coeur d'Alene feeds into the Spokane River and that river heads west towards Spokane. So you can get plenty of waterfront action there, but you don't have the commercial buildup on the waterfront, which is pretty nice. There's some stuff that's very close to the waterfront in Post Falls. And there are some great, these like walkable communities similar to Riverstone being put into Post Falls as well. So you have that and, and, and I think it's cool. However, Post Falls is going to be the biggest city in North Idaho. I'm sure of it. And that's because of geography. They just have more room to expand. Coeur d'Alene, the current area is 16 square miles. Post Falls is 15 square miles currently. Coeur d'Alene is pretty full. There's not a lot of empty land out there. Maybe some residential, like larger acreage chunks, five, 10 acres. But as far as land to be developed, there's just really not anywhere to go. Post Falls does not necessarily have that issue. They can expand into the Rathdrum Prairie north of Post Falls. And I think we will see, we are seeing quite a bit of expansion that direction right now. Coeur d'Alene population is about 57,000. Post Falls is at 50,000 right now. It's 2023. Coeur d'Alene is growing at 2% annually and Post Falls is growing at 9% annually. So the growth is already there. Um, part of that is housing is cheaper there. There's more room. It's a great place for families also, just like Coeur d'Alene is too, of course. But I just wanted to kind of show that growth. I, that growth is all going to Post Falls. Yeah, covered that. Moving on. The cost of living. Pretty, well, income's pretty comparable. Now, you, when you look online, you'll see there's a, a wide range of uh, values on these things. When you look up these, uh, like, for example, um, median household income, I saw a wide range. It kind of depends on what, what website you pop to. I tried to pull them off the same website so they're at least comparable. So Coeur d'Alene median household income is about sixty-five to $70,000 a year. A Post Falls is the same, sixty-five dollars to $70,000. Median sale price of homes in Coeur d'Alene is about $560,000 and Post Falls it's four ninety nine. dollars So prices are better in Post Falls, especially like starter homes, uh, single family homes. There's tons of new development there. So there's a more of a surplus of inventory in Post Falls and that's what is helping keep the prices down. So if you are a first time home buyer or a starting out family, that might be the place that you need to go. 
It's got all the big box stores as well. So you're not really missing out on anything. And like I said, they border each other. So you can't even tell when you cross from one to the other. Goods and services, utilities, homeowners insurance, it's pretty comparable. In a previous video, I talked about Sandpoint versus Coeur d'Alene. And there's enough geographical distance between those two that you can see some differences uh, in those services. But we're talking such a close proximity here that um, a lot of that is really the same. Same with weather. I pulled these off the same website, so they're pretty close. Coeur d'Alene, sunny days, on average, 174 sunny days a year. Post falls, the same. That makes sense. We're literally just 10 miles apart, downtown to downtown. Rain, Coeur d'Alene gets about 27 inches of rain a year. Post falls is sitting at 31. It's probably closer than that, to be honest with you, from what I see. I mean, if that cloud is over us, it's probably over post falls too. A snowfall, Coeur d'Alene sitting at 42 inches. Post falls is at 40 inches. Once again, it's probably even more comparable than that. Should be pretty similar. Let's talk about median rent price. So Coeur d'Alene apartments on average are renting between 700 and 4,500 a month. Obviously that 4,500 is a very high end luxury apartment. 700 is going to be either, you know, a studio apartment or a single one bed, one bath apartment. Uh, post falls, the range is 850 to 2,800. So pretty comparable. Um, surprised I didn't see one in the 700 range in post falls as well. I pulled these numbers right off of Zillow. If you go on Zillow, you can look up rentals and home prices too. Generally don't like Zillow, but they're good for that stuff. Home rentals in Coeur d'Alene is, uh, they're running from 750 to 6,450. That is for a house. Post Falls homes for rent, uh, 1650 to $6,000 a month. So similar, pretty similar spread on that as well. There are a lot of options. Um, if you're looking for rentals, uh, we don't do rentals, but we can point you towards somebody that does if you need that, or you can just look on Zillow, find them yourself. The, the good old Google, figure it out. All right, things to do. Once again, we're talking about two towns that border each other. So a lot of this stuff, it's not hard to drive 15 minutes to Post Falls and say go to core rock climbing gym because there is no real rock climbing gym in Coeur d'Alene, but there's one in Post Falls. So you can do that. It's not a hard thing to do. But specifically for each one, Coeur d'Alene has the lake. Lake Coeur d'Alene is obviously right here. So you got the lake life, uh, skiing, hiking, snowboarding, snowmobiling. Coeur d'Alene has the better downtown. So they got that going for them. Hunting, fishing, uh, community church, all of that is in Coeur d'Alene as well. Post Falls, they do not have the lake, but they have the river and the river connects to the lake. So you can boat up the Spokane river into Lake Coeur d'Alene, spend your day there. And then boat back down, say you're at the marina down in uh, Post Falls or have a house down there, you can totally boat and you can tube and do all that stuff in the river. It's really wide and fairly deep. So it's uh, good for boating as well, swimming, things like that. Uh, Post Falls has parks along the river, Quemlin Park, um, a couple other ones, I can't remember the name, at Kiwanis Park, there's one. And you can swim right there uh, in the river and it's a beautiful clear water, just like Coeur d'Alene. So it's great for swimming. So plenty of things to do in both. Uh, Coeur d'Alene's got Tubbs Hill and Campfield Mountain where you can go outside and hike and walk around. And Post Falls has Quemlin Park, which is actually a very hot destination for rock climbing. I found out last year when I went rock climbing there with the group and mountain biking, hiking trails, swimming. So that's a really cool spot. If you haven't checked that out in Quemlin, uh, in Post Falls, Quemlin Park, it's on the south side of the river off of Spokane Street. So you take Spokane Street, you can take it from the freeway or through town, cross over the river, Quemlin Park's right there on your right. Schools. This question we get all the time. If anyone tells you whether a school's good or not, and they don't have kids there, even if they do have kids there, everybody has a different opinion. People like things for different reasons. You might like a school because it's got a great sports program, but maybe I don't care about sports. Maybe I'm here for the, the music program. It's a really objective question, so it's hard to answer that one, and I don't like to answer it. There are lots of good schools here. Resources to look at schools. You could check out niche.com. Uh, they usually have reviews on different schools there from the parents that are going there. If you reach out and you ask me about a specific school, I probably know somebody that has kids there, so I could probably reach out to them and find that out. But I'm not going to make up a bunch of information here because I don't know. My kids probably don't go to that school. So there you go. I'd like to speak from firsthand experience and I don't have it. And if anyone tells you that they do, but they don't have kids in that school, I question that. Distance to the airport. Coeur d'Alene 
is 40 miles to the airport, which equates to about a 40 minute drive, depending on weather and traffic, of course. Sometimes coming through Spokane uh, can be a nightmare. If you hit that at rush hour uh, or if there are crashes on the freeway, that can slow things down. Post Falls is 30 miles to the airport, and it's about a 31 minute drive. If you map it, and I'm mapping from like basically the center of downtown. Obviously, you could live in different parts of those cities and it will be shorter or longer. So either one, that's not a bad drive to an international airport. The airport itself is easy to navigate. Never been super busy as I'm flying through there. So great option. And if you're flying through there, make sure you check out our billboard at the baggage claim. Currently Dave is on there, but the whole team will be on there come spring. So we're there staring down at you as you fly. Let's talk about some amenities of these two different towns. Coeur d'Alene has a huge variety of you know, the dermatology, what's all the fancy stuff the ladies are doing these days? The spas, the Botox, I don't know what you call that stuff. I don't use it, obviously, but it's all there. It's Riverstone area, there's tons of medical facilities. Make yourself beautiful, do all that stuff. So some people like that. We also have Kootenai Health, which is a level three trauma center. Full disclosure, I don't know what that means, but it's better than the one in Sandpoint, which is a level four. Costco shopping, a variety of restaurants here in Coeur d'Alene. Like I said, medical sur- oh, skin care. That's what I was trying to say at the beginning. So there's a lot of that stuff too. Um, salons, tattoo shops, everything. Uh, Coeur d'Alene also has numerous gyms. We're looking at 20 plus gyms. If you pull up a map and count them all, lots of options, multiple CrossFits, uh, big box gyms, the Croc Center, is one of the best things that Coeur d'Alene has going for it. It's a Salvation Army route. Ray Kroc is the guy that started McDonald's, by the way. So there's this huge, huge multi-million dollar facility in town that has an indoor rock wall, all the gym equipment, indoor running, walking track, multiple pools, lap pools, and like a basically a water park, a huge gymnasiums. They do lots of classes. They do aquatic classes. So if you're new to town, and you have a small family, it'd be a great option for you because they have daycare. Or if you're on the older side and you're looking to connect with other seniors, those aquatics classes seem to be really popular. They always look full when I walk through there. So Croc Center is a great, great option for a gym slash community center here in Coeur d'Alene. A Post Falls does not have a hospital like Coeur d'Alene. So Kootenai Health here in Coeur d'Alene is your closest trauma center, but... Post Falls is also 10 miles closer to Spokane, which has Sacred Heart Hospital, and that is a level two trauma center. So one level above Coeur d'Alene, whatever that means. Some nurses out there listening to me and thinking that I'm an idiot, but uh, I'm sure they're both great options if you're injured, but I guess I'd go to Sacred Heart over Cooney Health because they're level two. Sounds good. Post Falls has shopping, some bigger box stores, cute little downtown, not nearly as big as Coeur as, uh, d'Alene, of course, but great restaurants, coffee shops, all that stuff. And another benefit is they're closer to the Washington border, and this is good and bad. One is Washington. We don't like to go over there. But if you jump over to Liberty Lake, which is the first city that you'd hit if you cross over into Washington, that's kind of a cool little town. It's got some stuff going on. There is a lake there. I don't know about public access on that lake. I think there's some, but not a bunch. And some great little restaurants breweries, stuff like that right there in Liberty Lake. So that's a cool spot. And you've got Newman Lake, which is to the north of that. Another beautiful little lake area. And then you get into Spokane Valley, which is getting to be a bigger city, but has, you know, literally anything you could want is there. You'll probably find more of the ethnic foods there. If you're looking for some good specific ethnic food, you're going to find it there or into Spokane. Spokane obviously is a big city. I think population's like four or 500,000, something like that uh, in the greater metro area there. Spokane also, of course, has the problems that come along with a big city, homelessness, crime, stuff like that. So stay strapped while you're rolling into Spokane, legally, of course. Politics, that's a good one to talk about. So these are both in Kootenai County. Post Falls and Coeur d'Alene are in the same county. So really the the politics are very similar. Um, Kootenai County is 27% Democrat, 70% Republican and 3% independent. Honestly, that surprises me. Feels like there's a lot more conservative people here. I don't run into many people that are openly liberal. I don't care what your political affiliation is, FYI, just be a good person. But it can be important when it comes to voting and keeping our cities clean and wonderful the way they are. 
and not turning into Spokane. So uh, no offense to anyone that lives there, but Idaho is better. Coeur d'Alene has uh, Mayor Jim Hammond. He's a Republican. And Post Falls has Mayor Ronald Jacobson, also a Republican. So pretty similar on the political spectrum. That, ladies and gentlemen, is it. I have laid out all of the facts that I have for you. So how do you pick? Which one is better? Well, here's the deal. It's up to you. I can give you my opinion, and I will, of course, because I usually do. There's pros and cons to both. And it kind of depends on the lifestyle and the phase of life that you're in right now. If you're starting out new family, I'm going to edge towards post falls simply because prices are cheaper. You're still close to everything. It has pretty much everything Coeur d'Alene has to offer. And when Coeur d'Alene's doing, you know, a cool event, it's a short drive to come park downtown, go to the fireworks show, go to the 4th of July parade, come jump in the lake with us, whatever. It's still a short drive. So I think the home price the home prices being on the lower side than Coeur d'Alene, I think that tips the scale to post falls for me if you're in that phase of life. If you're older and you're looking for, say, condominium living, I'd say downtown Coeur d'Alene, especially if you're a snowbird and you're heading south in the winter, I think that would be an awesome lifestyle. No maintenance, live on the uh, 15th floor of the new Thomas George building lake views, all the restaurants accessible. You never even need to drive. You can walk everywhere. That'd be a cool life too. If you're looking for land, Coeur d'Alene and Post Falls both have land just a little bit outside of town. You can find, you know, your five acre chunks and get your peaceful living that way. Prices on those are going to be pretty comparable. And if you're looking for waterfront, they both have waterfront. Post Falls has along the river and there's some damn nice houses along that river and you have access to Lake Coeur d'Alene through the river. So that's not a big deal. Home prices on the lake are going to be more expensive. Don't get me wrong. They're still expensive on the river, but on Lake Coeur d'Alene, you're going to pay more for that. So kind of depends on what phase of life you're in. I think I laid it out pretty good. I live in Coeur d'Alene, if that means anything to you. But probably the best thing to do if you're still up in the air about it is to call me, text me or email me. And one of us on our team will connect with you. Eric is a current law enforcement officer in this area, and that's a huge benefit to people that have questions specific to crime, because that is another question we get a lot. What's the crime like up there? Well, if you want to know that, we can put you in touch with somebody that knows it very, very well, so we can get that, that question answered for you. And uh, that covers it, folks. Thank you very much. Remember, if you're looking to move right now or 12 months from now, give us a holler. We would love to help you make that smooth move right here in North Idaho.